and a decision on Manning's sentence could immediately follow. Israel has released the first wave of Palestinian prisoners under a U.S. broker deal to resume peace talks with the Palestinian Authority. On Tuesday, 26 prisoners were returned home to the West Bank and Gaza, about a quarter of the total set to receive their freedom. Most have been behind bars for over two decades. The peace talks continue in Jerusalem today after their launch in Washington last month. But on the eve of the new sessions and just hours before the prisoners' release, the Israeli government announced yet another new round of settlement construction in the occupied West. Bank. Over 900 settlement homes were approved near the Palestinian town of Beit Jala. This comes on top of the 1,200 settlement units approved Sunday. Speaking during a visit to Brazil, Secretary of State John Kerry insisted the ongoing settlement expansion does not threaten the prospects of reaching a peace deal. The policy of the United States of America with respect to all settlements is that they are illegitimate. And we oppose settlements taking place. Uh, at any time, not just the time of the, of the uh, peace process. But, here's the but. That said, Prime Minister Netanyahu was completely upfront with me and with President Abbas that he would be announcing some additional building that would take place in places that will not affect the peace map.